Hello my beautiful Libra, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Please use your intuition and open your mind to receive the messages that are coming for you today here. We are going to do next three months and it is July, August and September for 2023. So we're going to put for each pile here and we're going to reveal as we go along. I'm going to have a look at general reading, general energies, general reading, general energies and uh, money, finances, career, and of course love. But this is a tarot reading, so expect unexpected. There could be some extra messages perhaps coming through as well. And I have lines up, nine decks, and I think nine will do right. Alrighty, so i have been saying this for some time but check out your sun moon and rising usually those charts are free of charge why i'm saying this because very often when we go through life or some sort of events happen in our lives we resonate more sometimes with sun sometimes with moon or rising or venus or different so check your chart and see what do you resonate with most and pop in those videos and see which of the messages are resonating you right now? So it would be interesting to hear what do you resonate with you at the moment. Right, that is for July. This is for August and September. So happy birthday to those who celebrate birthday in September. Hope you have a great time. Hope you have a great party season. All right, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's have a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very chatty indeed. And I'm ever so grateful for your presence. And thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this one is coming out. Alrighty. Libra. What you need to know for July. Wow. False person and rider. So in your circles, in the circle that you are um, circling, in, uh, people or friends, family, business, it, but it feels like there could be a person in your social um rather than close family but it's more outside the house there's some so in social gatherings or in uh, in your friends amongst your friends peer group colleagues feels like there could be someone playing some games yes indeed we're gonna clarify that it is month and um, you will reveal more in month of august perhaps but it feels like someone perhaps is jealous of your success because this is you you have um created a dream life or you created something that someone has a little bit green eye on have a little envy and perhaps want to something a little bite from your cake in fact it feels like someone is maybe pretending to be your friend and they're not or hope not that it's nothing to do with business but it could be someone in business as well that you um, communicate with uh, do business with is not entirely true okay not entirely honest with you let's have a look at your general energies yes indeed someone's definitely it's a massive warning it's nothing i wouldn't say big drama but it feels like someone's trying to say the last words you know like some sort of conflict or and it feels something regarding money maybe you you were partners with someone and then you decided to go on your own and the other person is not happy, okay? And they're maybe trying to black name you and behind your back, okay? Uh, yeah, because they're kind of left hanging, okay? They're kind of left on their own. Let's have a look. What else do you need to know this regarding general energy? Okay, yes, this is definitely regarding money and wealth. And yeah, nothing you can do about but... Look, just be mindful who you share information with, who you share your home, um, who you share your details with, okay? Uh, let's dive into business because it feels like this is the, the, the area that perhaps is the most um, hot at the moment. Here we go. The world is changing, okay? You are actually expanding. It feels like you are expanding here. You have been on the back foot. You've been thinking and planning, okay? But um, finally, you have found something that is really um, you're happy with. Perhaps you have found a new partner in business or you found a new workplace. And maybe the old employer, uh, whoever could, could be even your friend or whatever you did business with, um, is not entirely happy. Perhaps you're actually wanting to um, semi-retire or retire 
and they kind of hope that you perhaps stay longer but you have decided now i want to have something completely new change of heart change of scenery okay change perhaps even in the industry that you're working in you want to take some time out mm -hmm. oh right okay this is interesting it feels like you want to give more back to society you have a lot of thoughts you've been in and about the business a lot thinking 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 and i i feel like you have a lot of new ideas that you have been kind of holding back a bit um for whatever reason uh could be money reasons yes um waiting for the right time well i don't know in economics there is no right time but it feels like it could be that you were waiting for your financial finances improving or at least feeling that yes i can dedicate a certain amount of time or a certain amount of money to develop something new okay and maybe because you are not involving someone or what's a story yes uh someone is kind of been feeling left out hence they know you're going to succeed hence they're a little bit uh jealous um envy love wow okay interesting you are here yourself if you are single at the moment there's a person what, what i would call a strong silent type even though it's a king of cups who is usually uh, could be he or she is very emotionally wearing their heart in the sleeve but they are holding it back a bit okay but it's going to come out. You're going to perhaps meet someone in the public or in, in some sort of gathering. And yeah, let's have a look what else you need to know. But it feels like someone's close, keeping their cards close to chest. It could be you even. Is this you? It's you. Oh, wow. It's interesting. We have the chariot on the bottom here as well. I feel, guys, that some of you are very career orientated at the moment. And you're not sure whether you want to spend time with the person, knowing that it will take you away from business. So it's kind of like you're, you're weighing up your professional time and growth versus your personal or romantic. Okay, you kind of like, hmm... Uh, shall I make business, make money, or shall I go out for a date? This is kind of dilemma, <laughs> but there's some turning points. There is some sort of, you are going to meet a person very, very soon if you are looking for one. It feels like um there is some romantic meetup, okay? Uh, you're not just you there, it could be some other people there as well. Uh, what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? You're kind of 50-50. You're not convinced. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. But there's a lot of a lot of things are happening around you. But you feel like you're not sure. But look, sometimes if you can't make decision, trust the universe to make this decision for you. Or is a person doesn't feel, doesn't convince you or doesn't really click. Well, you can't force things, of course. Of course you can't force things. Within the next few months. And it does feel like it's not the right time. And it feels like it could be the right person. But it's not the right time. Does it make sense? Yeah. And there will be some growth. And there will be some changes happening within a few months. Um, Self-acceptance. It really feels... And it's not, your, not just you, Libra. It feels like a lot of signs at the moment are very money orientated and financial orientated um and finances comes before love or relationship it feels like someone's worth is valued by how much money you have or what you do for a living the hard work pays off and that is good to see you guys because you have put a lot in what you do um for sure hmm Okay, it feels like you have one very strong 
idea. You have very strong focus on what you want. And anything else has to wait. And that's how I feel it. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and forgiveness from your heart and mind. This is a card of healing. And it could be either from the person that you had uh, some sort of misunderstandings or um, from the person that from past relationships, perhaps as well. And once you are healed, you can then you are ready for the next person, because as I said it feels like the person could be right, but you are not right. You are not there yet. OK, and that's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. Now. Let's dive into August. Okay. Either some of you are finding out, a very simple message, either some of you are finding out you're pregnant, okay, um, because we have a little child here, and it's not a concern, it's about, wow, really, like, surprise, like, out of the blue, perhaps you've been trying for so long time, and nothing has happened and then suddenly hello i'm here okay it's like a little baby's coming along but this is a card of uh new, new something new in your life and i don't i wouldn't want to see this as negative i feel this more because those cards together it really feels of um something great new is coming in your life some sort of new addition some sort of um new phase new chapter perhaps as well is coming in your life and it's really taking you by surprise libra it does let's dive in let's dive in for august yeah yeah <laughs> look at that look at this little girl she's feeling epic as i said a very strong family orientated energies um uh, but, but new baby new pet even new something new home new something new that it feels like so different and it you might feel a little bit out of your comfort zone even a bit but this when sun comes in the readings if it, it definitely sprinkles the sun on all the cards and they kind of mellow mellow out indeed you're right time right place august is definitely your month that's for sure now let's dive into i'm gonna dive in first in love and relationships love and relationships what do you need to know why is this chariot around all the time all the time is a cancer around you cancer yeah could be near you this feels like the cancer has been all the time as i'm shifting through at the back there's yeah chariot there um there could be many people around you that are, there's a lot of options. But you feel, oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to say this now. For some of you, you feel, and it doesn't mean necessarily for everyone. For some of you, consciously or subconsciously, you feel like, either I'm not beautiful enough, either I'm not handsome enough, I don't, I don't have the right car, the right house, the right income to be dating or to be out there. And you feel like, Am I good enough for everyone else? And it feels like that kind of self-doubt is stopping you from progressing into something, progressing into a relationship. Kind of constant battle. You're feeling some, there's an inner battle that you're having. And this could be your personal relationship with yourself. But it could be as well in your current relationship. What's this about? healing yeah there's some issues with if you're married then um perhaps it's important to have a good conversation with your um, significant other um regarding uh, values your joint values and this is a card of dipping your toes in unknown there's something unknown coming in your life as i said it could be a child could be new addition okay Maybe you're meeting a person who has a child and then suddenly you're finding out, wow, they actually have children and they never told you or or the children want to live with with in your house or, you know, and feels like it's so much happening at the same time. But this is a card of healing. Look at the Archangel Raphael wings here. So some healing needed in your 
uh, love relationship area before to move forward. Yeah. It's kind of really looking within. And maybe some therapy might help. Okay. Maybe some therapy therapy um, could help you to find the right answers, the right way to feel, the right way forward. Right. Business. Oh, wow. Emperor. Look at this. That's amazing. Now, with regards to work, you are definitely building something here. You are building emp empire. It's Aries here. Something for your family. I feel like what you do is not just for yourself. It's something that you are creating or working towards is some sort of legacy that you could leave behind as well. Now, with Emperor is as well, when it comes to it, when it sits like that and looks straight in you, it's saying that you need to have boundaries, very strong boundaries. If you're, especially if you have a partners in your business, um, very strict rules, how much each one of you brings the money in, who does what, so you don't end up as your own carrying the baby, okay? Yeah. But this partnership is bringing money. It feels like once you have set the boundaries, this partnership there, you enjoy whatever company or either doing yourself or either working, either you are working for yourself, but you're communicating with others, you're selling services or products. You enjoy this exchange a lot and it brings you a greatest uh, rewards as well. And again, this is a card of family. There's a lot of family, family, family. It's not just for me, but it's for, for me and for next generations. Uh, let's see what you need to know. Be assertive. Yes, that is the emperor kind of approach. Being assertive in uh, in your decision making. Prosperity. Beautiful. Look, we have the Ten of Pentacles. That is the most, most, the most abundant card in Tara. So embrace yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. That is something that I was saying regarding the uh, temperance. Um, Sagittarius, that was there. Stepping out of comfort zone. This is some sort of new openings for you. You're learning about yourself. You're learning professionally and personally as well. There's some changes definitely happening in your um, ways of living. Perhaps your children leaving home, going to school. And then there's a changes and it feels so different. Look, when you have twice the sun, it's amazing. It's a blessing. And I said August is going to be one of your best months. And it feels so. Money-wise, yes, there is some changes in a household. But look, who doesn't? Okay, at least you know what's coming. Okay, here we go. And this is regarding your relationship with yourself. And there is something that you need to discover or put behind. And look how this angel is looking in the light. Okay, even though there's a dark around, it feels like there's a lot of stuff happening. But... Look in the situation and you're going to find what you look for. If you look into darkness, you're going to find darkness. If you're looking for light, you are going to find the light. Okay. Right. Let's dive into September. So happy birthday to guys. Men, female and fish. Look, this is a, interesting. We have a female lot of energy here. Okay. A female female little girl female um but doesn't you don't take it just as female but it feels very strongly mother or female or female kind of vibes right men female is definitely it feels like you are on top of the world and you're making money because fish is about money there's plenty of fish out there even if you are searching for a person um you feel like you are in charge now you are awakened and you are ready to go and get what's yours. Either this is a partner <laughs> or this is a business uh, and money and offers, opportunities, contracts, doesn't matter. Oh, uh, wow. There is more there where it came from. It really feels like the fish there is literally as the fish we're saying um, regarding fishermen. There's more where it came from. And it is indeed. All right. Hermits. Wow. Okay, you are planning how to improve your business. You are juggling a little bit, perhaps money, so juggling time. And it feels like you need to do what you are enjoying. But in 
In a business, hermit is more about focus on actions and don't waste too much time on your, I know, image is important. Granted, I hear you. But if you're focusing just on your image and you're not doing the business, then your business is going to suffer. Okay. Yes, it's important to have a beautiful, glossy website, but you got to have something behind it, some products, some services. Okay. And it's going to come because there's a, a Knight of Pentacles is definitely is a counting card. It's delivering, but perhaps you're wanting it to book, speed it up and there's some sort of uncertainty. Um, maybe you're doing two different jobs and doing a side hustle and that's the case. Or you're seeking the truth, um, how to improve and how to fasten up, some sort of speed up something. Okay, let's dive into straight into work because I feel like I have to say collectively, um, work energy is really taking up a hand. Okay, tower. And I got to say tower is... Um, haunting the readings but it's a it's a wakey wakey call card because what we're having here is lovers and hangman now straight message when you have three majors like this you do not ignore the message it's hanging around time or focusing on just a glossy website i'm not saying no it's not something to not do but focusing on just something that is not making money is a bit a little bit of waste of time Yes, you need to have good merchandise, good marketing, etc. But you got to perform. And it feels like sometimes what you do is something that you love, but you got to treat it as a business. You got to treat this as a business to be successful. Okay. And you realize perhaps, wow, okay, uh, maybe you're starting outgrowing yourself and you need to expand. You feel like, wow, this is not just a, like a cottage business or a little, I'm doing something for, as a side hustle. This is actually turning into something bigger. I need to rethink, like two pentacles, I need to rethink which way, to, how to approach this. And you need, perhaps need to have a out-of-the-box approach. Yeah, you've been waiting for something. Oh, okay. So what you're looking for is, I feel like you're looking for some sort of professional advice. And if it's not a professional that you're approaching to give you that advice, you are searching for that knowledge. You kind of like, if I know, if I knew how to do this, I would probably build my business faster. And that's how I feel it. This is why I'm hearing it. If I just knew how to, what to do and how to do this, because you know, actual doing process, you're good. But there's some sort of missing piece here. And perhaps you need to have advice from a person who has been in this your shoes before. And that could give you some sort of great idea and give you great a kind of stepping stone. Because there's a new beginnings. You are you are fearless. You want to do this, you want to dive in. But you need to have a bit of knowledge. There is something missing. So reach out for someone to someone. Even Google, okay, reach out and see what you can find to support your uh, business to grow, okay? Because that's no hobby no more. It's grown into business. Love. Wow, okay. So you are meeting a person or a person coming to you even. And this person is very wealthy. And perhaps it's even a Leo because we have the Leo here. And this person is coming from, it could be from different parts of the world, not necessarily where you're at. Um, but I feel like, if I feel as well in, in your current relationship, if you're not single, you're going to be improving relationship. Perhaps going out for dates, um, having a good time out, uh, focusing on family. There's a lot, uh, this for you, Libra, this is absolutely all about uh, closeness, family, feeling loved, really feeling belonging somewhere. But if you're single, I feel like there's a, a person that is coming to you with a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. Could be through work. Could be through work. But it feels like they are very, they're a hardworking person. They're very steady. 
they're very steady you'll have a good time with them you will have yes indeed okay let's have a look what else you need to know for september within the next few weeks mm -hmm. something will change something improvements happening within the next few weeks rest yeah perhaps you need to have some time off as well your body mind and spirits need some rest as well what else do you need to know? This is a heart chakra as well. I feel like you are healing a lot of some you know, emotions, um, some um, relationships as well. Have faith in your dreams. Look how this person is actually kind of like dreaming and sleeping. And I think when you are resting, when you're relaxing, you will have a like a message coming to you. All right. Learning. Reading. Yeah, regarding business, you're going to be exploring something, researching perhaps. What angels would like you to know? Oh, look at that. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. I have I have said it, it's all about family, children, inner child. Um, this sort of kind of belonging the very basic needs that we have wanting to be loved and love right absolutely wow what a beautiful three months indeed all right my beautifuls that's all i have for you this time thank you so much for being here i really appreciate your presence uh let me know what kind of readings you would like me to do is there something different you want me to do as well uh pop it in the description box as well and if this feels like i know your place space um Join in, join in. Until then, love and light, and I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da.